What's up everyone? It's Alex again. Answering viewer questions one more time. Here we go. Today's question is from Samuel and Samuel says, I am 66 years old, never rode a scooter before. I am 195, I assume that means pounds, 195 pounds. What would be a good starter scooter? Your videos are very good, thank you. First off, thank you Samuel for the praise. Let's get into it. So I'm assuming you mean you're 66 years old and 195 pounds and you've never ridden a scooter before. I'm also assuming that when you say scooter, you actually mean scooter and not motorcycle. If you meant motorcycle, then send me another comment and I will remake this video for you. But real quick, we're gonna cover what I would say would be a good choice for beginner scooter for Samuel. 66 years old, almost 200 pounds, never ridden a scooter before. You want your first scooter. First off, this may be controversial. I am not gonna recommend you buy a 50cc scooter. I'm not gonna recommend you buy a 100cc scooter. Here's why. My experience from years and years and years of riding and selling and dealing with everyone that rides these things, the 50cc scooters, unless you live on a college campus or you live in town in the city where traffic is just slower, the 50cc-ish range scooters just do not have enough power to get out of people's way to be safe enough in my humble opinion. I think you need something where if you need to give it a little bit more zip to get out of harm's way, you have it. Generally with a 50cc scooter, you're talking 35 to 40 miles per hour top end speed. If you're running around in the city, college campuses, things like that, you can get away with that where the speed limits are all 35 miles an hour, you can get away with it. So a lot of countries around the world, by the way, I know a lot of my viewers are around the world. For those of you that are in countries that are very scooter friendly, where there's a lot of scooters around and everyone rides scooters, that's awesome. I wish the U.S. was more like that. It just simply isn't. So for my international viewers, just understand the U.S. is not a scooter friendly place and this is coming from that point of mind. But I don't recommend a 50cc scooter to start in the U.S. unless you are in the city where all the speed limits are 35 miles an hour. Otherwise, what I would recommend and what I think is one of the best options out there for a first scooter, doesn't matter what your age or your size is, if you can fit on it, check out a Yamaha Zuma 125. They came out with that thing like 2009 or something like that. They started making them. Zuma 125's proven track record of quality. The speed is good enough. Most of my riders, depending on your weight and some other factors like that, most people are gonna get the thing to 55, 60 miles an hour or better. So that is enough speed where you can ride most places and be able to get out of harm's way and be able to keep up with traffic. You're not gonna ride the thing on the interstate or on a big highway. You're not gonna ride the thing on a four lane highway in the US where usually the speed limit is 60, 65 miles an hour or more, but it's a lot better option for being able to stay safe, get where you wanna go, have enough power left to get out of harm's way if you need to. So I would check out and see if you could sit on a Zuma 125 to begin with. My next suggestion, if you don't fit on that, can't find one of those well, if you can find a Honda PCX 150, I've had pretty good luck out of those. It's not been made for as long or have the same kind of quality track record as the Zuma 125 does, but I have had pretty good luck out of the Honda 150s. It's a, it's a light design, it's got enough power, it's a lot like a Zuma 125, but it feels a little bit bigger to most people, so that would be a good secondary option. I look at the Zuma 125 first because I think it is longer track record, more quality product, but you could also look at the PCX 150. If those options are too small, I would highly recommend looking at a Suzuki Bergman 400. This is what I would call more of a full-size scooter or a, almost a highway scooter. Bergman 400 is a 400cc motor, it's a little bit bigger, so taller riders, bigger riders are gonna be way more comfortable on that than they will on the other options that I've mentioned so far. The Bergman 400 is perfectly capable of highway speeds. So a lot of people I know that have them ride it just like you would any full size motorcycle. You can ride it around town, you can ride it on back roads. They are capable of doing highway speed. You can ride the thing on the highway. I've known people that get Bergman 400s and ride them around locally and then take cross country trips on the thing because it's actually just that capable. So if you don't fit on the Zuma 125, with PCX 150, you want a high quality, proven track record scooter that's bigger, has more capability to go longer distances, you can also do a Bergman 400. That's about as big as I'm gonna recommend for a starter scooter. There are some bigger scooters than that that are fantastic that I will highly recommend to you second, like once you get your legs under you and you know what you're doing. But the 400 is gonna be about as big as I would recommend for the first scooter, okay? So that's gonna be as big as that one's gonna go. There have been some honorable mentions in prior years that aren't made anymore and haven't been made for a little while. 
For a while, Yamaha made a scooter called the Morphus. It's pretty weird. And for those of you out there that are Morphus fans, I'm sorry, but the styling was very polarizing. People either loved it or absolutely hated it. Most people hated it. It's much more of a sit down, laid back, more cruiser seating position scooter. So it also kind of throws off newer riders because it's not as confident, upright, neutral seating position as a Bergman 400 or most scooters are. It kind of like leans back more cruisers. So that was made in previous years. You may see some of those used for a beginner. I usually don't recommend it. If it just catches your fancy, then sit on it, try it. Hey, maybe it's for you. Honda also made a scooter for a little while called the Honda Big Ruckus. That was a 250cc version of the Ruckus. Those are getting very hard to find. They didn't make it for very long. It was a really cool concept. It was kind of a convertible scooter where it sat like a scooter. It was basically just a really big version of a Honda Ruckus. So kind of like a rugged design. It sat upright like a scooter, but then it also had a feature where you could convert the seat into a backrest and make it more of a cruiser seating scooter. If you could find one of those, those are really, really cool. Very durable, very good option, but they didn't make them for very long, so it's gonna be a lot harder to find, which is why I recommended Zuma 125, the PCX 150, and the Bergman 400 in different size ranges first. If you try all the scooters on this list and just don't like any of them, you have other models that you're interested in that I did not mention here because I don't want the video to be 20 minutes long, leave me a comment, just ask about them. Go sit on all of those. See what you think. If you don't like them, come back. We'll go back to the drawing board, okay? I'm Alex, guys. Peace.